Welcome to a mini lecture about orientations and signs. This uh, lecture is about the definitions 1.13 and 1.15 in the course notes. Um, another little reminder uh, that uh, if the video is a bit fuzzy, then change the quality settings if you can. There should be a little cog symbol down in the bottom right of your YouTube window, and you can set it to 720p. Uh, which is the best available. So, uh, what is an orientation? An orientation of a link is a choice of direction in which to travel around each of the components of the link. So, in the pictures here, um, I could choose to travel around this component this way. I could choose to travel around the pink component anti-clockwise and maybe I can choose to travel around the blue component clockwise again. Or I could make a completely different set of choices. I could choose to travel uh, anti-clockwise, nope, anti-clockwise, <laughs> around the pink component, still clockwise around the green one, but instead anti-clockwise around the blue one. So that's what an orientation of a link is. And as you can see, we indicate orientations on diagrams by drawing arrows. Uh, so what is this a picture of here? This is a picture of two orientations of the same link. So these are two orientations. These two pictures show us two different orientations of the same link. Now, next definition, an oriented link is a link together with an orientation. So now what is this a picture of? Well, this is a picture of a link with an orientation, so it's a picture of an oriented link. On the right, this is a picture of a link with a different orientation, so it's a different oriented link. So these two pictures, on the one hand, as I wrote before, they show us two orientations of the same link. They also show us two different oriented links. And uh, the theory of what it means for two links to be equivalent and the theory of Reidemeister moves and Reidemeister's theorem, those all still work for oriented links. So Reidemeister's moves and Reidemeister's theorem extend to oriented links. So just as a quick exercise, if you want to do it, pause the video, draw the hop link, which is this guy here, with all four possible orientations. And here's my answer. Let me draw the hop link four times. One, two, three, four. And how may I orient this? Well, I can orient both links clockwise, both components clockwise, or I could orient the first component clockwise and the second one anti-clockwise, or I could orient the first component anti-clockwise and the second one clockwise, or I could orient them both anti-clockwise. Whoops. There's anti-clockwise and anti-clockwise. Are those four different? Yes, they are. Okay, so that's my solution to the exercise. And it's an interesting question, we'll cover this in the example sheets, to ask uh, whether any of these four oriented links are equivalent as oriented links. Now, uh, an important subject is next, it's the subject of signs. So, in a diagram of an oriented link, here are two diagrams of oriented links every crossing can be given a sign. So for example, in the diagram on the top right, there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six crossings. 
and we're going to give each one a sign. Down in the bottom right, there are a total of seven crossings. So how does it work? Well, it turns out that in an oriented link diagram, every crossing has one of two forms. Either this form on the left, or this form on the right. In the first case, the case on the left, we say that the link has sign plus one. And in the case of the link on the right, we say it has sign minus one. Now the link of sign, the, the crossing of sign plus one is called right-handed. This is just a convention. It's called right-handed. And uh, the crossing of sign minus one is called left-handed. Now, of course, if we look at a crossing in a diagram, it won't be this way up. They won't have one of the strands going up and to the right and one of them going up and to the left. It'll be rotated somehow. And what we have to do in order to find the signs in a diagram is sort of imagine ourselves rotating these little images here so that they match what we have in the picture. And here's a way to remember it. In the right-handed case, the overstrand, what's the overstrand? It's this. The overstrand, and in this case it's this. In the sine plus one case, the overstrand is clockwise from the understrand. What's the understrand? The understrand is here. And we see that the overstrand, its point, is clockwise from the point of the understrand. And in the left-handed case, we see that the point of the overstrand, which is here, is anti-clockwise from the point of the understrand. So let's work out some examples. Let's have a go at this example on the top right. Now when I do that, my first step is always the following. I start on, I pick a component of the link and I start at the arrow and I travel around the link in that direction and every time I go through a crossing I draw an arrow coming out the other side. So here I am, I start the arrow, I go around the component, there I go through a crossing, I draw the arrow coming out. Keep going, through a crossing, arrow coming out. Keep going, through a crossing, arrow coming out. Keep going, through a crossing, arrow coming out. And I do that on all the components. So let's do it for this component. That's done. And let's do it for the final component. Now, why did I do that? I did that because now, if I pick a random crossing, let's pick this one, we see that it does look like one of the two pictures over here. Let's, uh, let's lay it on thick and highlight the overstrand in our overstrand color. That's that one. Let's do a thinner pen. There we go. And let's hi highlight the understrand in the blue color. And what do we see? We see that the overstrand is the overstrand, which is here. That's anti-clockwise from the understrand, which is there, which makes it a left-handed crossing with sign minus one. So here we are. The sign is minus one. Now let me uh, erase those and just write the sign on, on its own. Let's pick a different crossing. This guy here, which is the overstrand. It's this, which is the understrand. It's this. and. 
the overstrand we see is clockwise clockwise from the understrand. So this has sine, this is right handed and it has sine plus one. Plus one. And now let's work out the signs everywhere. Here the overstrand is clockwise from the understrand so it's plus one. Here the overstrand is anti-clockwise from the understrand, minus one. Here the overstrand is anti-clockwise from the understrand, minus one again. Here, minus one. And are there any crossings left? No. So those are, oops, see oops, those are all the signs on all the crossings in this link diagram. Now, exercise. Uh, I want you to pause the video now, please, and try and find all the signs in the link diagram on the bottom right of your picture. So let's write that exercise. Find the signs. So pause, have a go, and then when you restart, I'll tell you the answer. Righto, here is my solution. I do what I said before, which is that I travel around drawing all the signs coming out of every crossing I find. It's easy to miss them out accidentally if, they're, if you find there are lots of crossings side by side. So here there's two crossings and it's easy to uh, omit some there. Okay, so now I've got all, this, all the arrows coming out of all the crossings, uh, I can try and find the signs. Um, for example, here, the overstrand, which is in pink, is anti-clockwise from the understrand, which is in green, so the sign is minus one. Here, the overstrand, which is in green, is clockwise from the understrand, which is in blue, so the sign is plus one. Here, this one's a little harder to see, the overstrand, which is in blue, is clockwise from the understrand in green, so that's another plus one. Uh, here, that is a plus one. Here, again, plus one. Here, minus one. And this one, minus one again. Okay, that is my answer. Um, there's a, there's, a, there's a fair chance that I've, I've made some errors here. So if you do find some errors, please leave a comment in the video. Um, so, so that's the end of our talk about orientations and signs.